Welcome to another episode of Tea Talk. Today on our show is Dr. Samantha Jennings. Welcome. Thank you, Sonia. Yes. Samantha is one of the doctors of traditional Chinese medicine here at Red Tree Wellness, and she's here today to talk to us about sound healing. Mm -hmm. So tell us more about what is sound healing. Well, sound healing is a holistic modality that uses music and sound as a way of creating harmony within ourselves. Mm. And when we have that harmony, then we know that healing can happen. Right. Mm. Yes. yes. Yeah. So I see you have some tuning forks here. Can you tell us how you use them? Sure. I'm using a modality called Ohm Therapeutics, and I'm actually applying the tuning forks to traditional acupuncture points as well as trigger points are actually over uh, mm. an organ. Mm. So if you were to come into the clinic and say you were holding tension in your body as an example, and that was up in the shoulders here, yeah. then I would use uh, the tuning fork to actually apply that uh, to the, ten the tension in the musculature. So I hit it against what we call an activator, mm -hmm. so I actually wear these around my legs mm -hmm. so that I can move around the table and around the body. So for example, I would find that point and then I would apply that to that area of mm. tension. And as the frequency diminishes, then I hit the tuning fork again, I come back to that tension, and what we'll find is over time that the tension in the body will start to release. Mm. And it's doing so yeah. because we're activating uh, the chi or increasing circulation in that area. If this was a chronic condition for you, then I would use my low uh, frequency of ohm, and it's the low frequency that is more deeply penetrating, and often I'll use this for uh, chronic or really stubborn kind of tension that's yes. held in the body. Any other applications besides ten tension in the body? Well, sure. Um, I mean, not only is it going to address discomfort or pain, but we can use it to address uh, issues of sleep, um, for people who have a lot of stress, whether that's physical or emotional. We also know that it's really great for stimulating immunity, for example. Mm. So it has lots of applications. Sounds mm -hmm. good. That sounds mm. good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So who can come in and use it? Well, most people, I mean, there lots of people are coming in for acupuncture, but we do find that there are those who are very needle sensitive mm -hmm. or needle phobic. And so the tuning forks is a great alternative, okay. or I can use it in conjunction with acupuncture needles, but I don't need as, as many needles. Right. I can do some needles, and then some points can be stimulated through the tuning forks. Yes. And then it's a great for uh, children and mm -hmm. also uh, treating uh, pets, treating nice. your animals. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Well, that was really informative. Try it out at home while you can. Come in and try it out with <laughs> Dr. Samantha Jennings. Tell us how you like it. And let us know what other topics you'd like to talk about. Thanks for being on the show. You're very welcome. Thank you, son. For those at home that don't know Samantha, always for our first time, we get to know our new doctor for the first time with a few yes. fast questions. Okay. So these are to get to know you for our audience. Mm -hmm. What era would you like to have grown up in? I would say the Victorian era because I love the architecture um, of that time period and also the clothing and such. Yes, yes. beautiful. I'm a fan of uh, the Murdoch mysteries yes. on TV, yes. that time period, yes. yes. Yeah. When you go for visits or vacations, do you prefer big city or country? Uh, country, especially high desert and high ah, mm -hmm. nice, yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yes. And favorite dessert? Uh, tiramisu, we have uh, a branch of our family is Italian. Yes. So good. <laughs> we'll have to try it someday. Yes. All right. All right. Thanks Thank again. You. All right. Thanks, Sonia.